Ready. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some more The Expanse, man. This series, season three has been so good that I'm thinking about this during my week. I'm thinking about it. This and the 100 has got my mind in a bind right now. Things are just crazy right now. I can't wait any longer. If you want to see more episodes of The Expanse, go join the Patreon, man. Let's go watch the reaction. See you guys right after for the review. Oh no, he's talking to everything you asked. Miller? Now I need you, Miller. If you're ever coming back, this would be a good time. He's trying to reach back out to him. He did say he has better signal inside of the ring, so it's kinda I need a power grid status report and get Nagata up here now. Yes, Captain. We're gonna need a tactical plan for command deck security and crowd control throughout the behemoth. Has there been a credible threat? Call it a contingency. Get me a list of personnel and equipment you'll need and be prepared to deploy within the hour. It would help to know what we're defending against. Can I count on you? Yes, sir. I hate when, when, when they do this, man. It's just like, yo, just follow orders. Like, yeah, you're planning to kill all of us. Can you give me a heads up? You know what I mean? Like, y'all are planning a suicide kamikaze mission here. Can you give me a heads up that you're planning to do this? Get me to arm a fucking bomb. How would I know why they did that? I've been locked up since the last time I saw you. Chuck played boys humping shit. What does that even mean? Okay. Yeah, that sounds bad. So how do we do that? Uh, okay. I know how to fix this. Okay. Hi, Ford. It's drama. It's good to hear your voice. It's good to still have one. I was just going to come to see you. I've been talking to Holden. He says he knows how to get us out of this. Well, with Holden? Last time I saw you, you couldn't even walk. Naomi helped with that. Oh, Nagata is there as well. Well, are you in the brig? Yes. What is Holden telling you to do? He believes he can convince the station that we are not a threat. The station killed thousands of us for no reason. We are not the threat here. Maybe hold the news. Should talk in first. I agree. I'll be right there. Bring them to me. And do not let anyone stop you. Yeah, boss man. Egan, give me your weapon. Show sure, boss man. Ashford's coming for us. He will not let us do this. We can tie you up if you want. I mean, me with you. Eros, Ganymede. In Belto also. The station's deciding whether we're a threat. So what happens if it decides we are? I saw it turn a marine who threw a grenade into red mist. I'm guessing something like that, only, you know, all of us. If we get the station not to consider us a threat, he can get it to stand down. We overloaded the reactor on that skiff. We taught the station that our ships are fusion bombs. We need to shut down every reactor in the flotilla. How oh, is that all? Or we can wait for them <laughs> to decide if we're safer as red mist. Go so find Monica Stewart and Cohen and tell them everything I'm telling you. The moment you start to forecast, Ashford will try to stop it. I'm sending you directions to a substation where you can tap directly into the behemoth's transmitter array. The second we tap in, they'll know exactly where we are. There's no way to hide that. I know. We're gonna need some guns. I'll send you access codes to the security locker on your level. I don't know a whole bunch of scared people. To turn the lights off here, that, that's gonna be a tough sell. Well, you're just gonna have to figure out how to convince them. Even given the circumstances, it's nice to have you back. Man, the trust you gotta have in people, the trust you gotta have in your friends that you call family, the trust that these guys have for each other is second to none, man. Like, this wouldn't be something you could do in real life because see somebody talking to themselves and is talking to a dead person. I'm pretty sure it not only freaks you out, you're gonna admit this person in the mental hospital immediately <laughs> okay anna's here is anna I keep calling her Anne. We're gonna anna come with us my patients leave me here unless we can convince a whole lot of people to do something they're not going to want to do everybody's going to die <laughs> captain holding gone from the brig with drama and negata no one know where they 
Mando. Find them. Me on it, boss man. You can count on me. You can count on me. <laughs> me better. <laughs> How much time did that just cost us? Too much work. Not enough worker. Make a mistake and get hurt. That there are more people who know what they are doing up here now. Boss man, we're running primary power direct from reactor to comm laser. Is it really about getting signal out? No. That station killed a lot of us. And they are trying to kill more. It's time we fight back. I get more people. Yeah. Ever since Ashford assumed command, security on the behemoth has increased dramatically. Vacations are we have poor. something we need you to do. <laughs> what I heard is the answer is no. I understand you're upset. You go to hell. Give me my camera back. I have work to you're do. You're pissed. I get it. You want me to feel bad that you're angry. You want me to feel guilty that Cohen is dead. But I don't. So let's just skip the bullshit to where you agree to help. Help you do what? The station is going to destroy us. All of us. Want answers. We have them. And they will save lives. We need you to get the word out. Should have led with that. <laughs> You're... <laughs> it's Amos, dude. No plan survives contact with the enemy. I'm sorry I drove you away. You didn't drive me away. She left, bro. I'm not leaving again. I hope not. You guys are a good couple to together. This stuff. <laughs> They're good together, good for each other. Just you? What do you mean with you to back here, boss man? How long does it take to kill the reactor? Minimum safe shut down about 20 minutes. Damn, they ain't planning to go back down at all. Let's go. Just heroes doing heroes things. You know what I mean? Like all this shit. That's what I'm saying, man. When you compare the CGI. Like the CGI in this show is so good. It makes the Unreal look so real. Like this stuff is physically. You know what I'm saying? This is sets. Built sets. Right? You know what I mean? Is it, can you uplink here? So, give me a minute. Alex. Yeah. Help her. I'll watch her back. Man. Man. He realizes what we're doing. He's a pirate. Take a guess. Before you had a problem with me killing Malpa. I don't have time for that now. If someone comes to stop us, I'm gonna kill them. Because it needs to be done. Yes. <laughs> Do you think we're gonna die here? Well, there's a lot more of them than there is us. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. If we die, I won't get a chance to explain to them why I left. What I thought that I would be. I left a lot on the side. Well, everyone leaves unfinished business. That's what dying is. What about you? I won't get to shoot that prick Ashford. <laughs> You'd regret not killing a man you don't even know just because he's on the other side. Well, he's sending people to kill me. On every side of us are people who have no reason to hate each other. Everyone here thinks they're doing the right thing. If we get out of this, we have to find a way to understand each other, to explain why we made the choices that we did. It is the only way that we can let go of the hate. Mm. Hate is a burden. Mm. You don't have to carry it with you. Who's writing this show? Those are bars. I'm not going to let anyone hurt you. Hate is a burden. Mmm. It is. <laughs> the transmitter right now. Broadcast should be up soon. As soon as the other ships go dark, we need to pull the plug here. We'll be ready. How are you holding up? Thank you for believing me. I'm not here for you. Naomi believes you're right. She would die for you. I'm here to make sure she doesn't. You, here. You, here. You with power certification over there. You there. Suta. Who took Go this outside. bitch out of prison? Reactor control, come in. Uta. What's the problem? Who's getting alert on all reactor? Look Harari took this. On whose orders? In Call control room. No answer. Harari took this bitch out of prison? Are you serious? You know what, man? Harari, they are in reactor control. What the fuck is this? Problem? Someone's written massive amounts of power to the comm laser. They tried to get a message through the ring before. 
Maybe they're trying to punch too harder. The station charging up, what would be the point of... They're trying to destroy the ring. Would that work, Kay? It won't matter. A laser shot is a direct attack. It'll prove that we're a threat. And the station will kill everyone and everything on both sides of the ring. Ashford, we know what you're trying to do. You are no longer in command of this ship. You don't need to do this. There's a way to save us all. It's not the point. You want to go down as a hero. The station doesn't kill all of us. Now others will come through the ring. Won't be able to resist. Even if we all survive, we're leaving behind an unexploded bomb. Sooner or later, someone will set it off. If Holden is right, you will be the one setting it off. Kamina, you are a true belter. Saved my life because you are willing to die for a greater good. I still am. This is Monica Stewart reporting on the Intership Relief Channel with an urgent message for everyone in the flotilla. Please listen to what she has to say. Our lives are depending on it. How you all must be feeling right now. You're afraid. The station is reacting as though we are a threat. It thinks our ships are bombs, like the skiff that exploded. We need to power down every reactor on every ship. And the station will let us go. Is what she's saying true? Mm. No have time to debate. There's a chance. I say we try. It's a chance to live, man. We're gonna die here. I say... Oh, damn. Damn. Now you're the problem. We are running out of time, people. We know what we must do. Does anyone else wish to debate with me? Just kill the fellow Belter. Broadcast will make things get out of hand quickly. My Marines will take care of it. No, they Trooper, won't. If they saw That's that. Armor. She didn't. Somebody took their armor. Motherfucking thieving belters. We don't need armor for this. Damn, they stole it and trying to run up here. Damn, they trying to run up to the reactor. They're crazy, man. How much longer? I set the reactor to scram as soon as the power grid goes down it's to convince everyone. Damn. Where does this go? Exterior elevator. I'm surprised. I thought that. Now that I actually think about it, I thought that not anybody can go into these suits. Like they're specifically made so that a certain person can wear it. Like only Martians. Or at the very least, it's like, you know, designated for one specific person and they're the only ones that can actually control it. But I guess. That's not the case. We can make our way up the shaft, maybe we can still stop Ashford. Can you keep going? Passion. Suit up. Uh, I understand. I... This is Gunnery Sergeant Roberta Drake for Martian Marine Corps. Bobby? Alex? <laughs> it's so funny. Bobby? Alex? <laughs> I was not expecting this. <laughs> Why are we fighting? <laughs> Pretty sure if they tell Bobby what's going on. This is a live cable. Keep it secure. Sorry. Are you alright? This is chemical restraint. It makes me a little fuzzy. You are who tried to kill Holden. You were in the brig, right? What are you doing here? They brought me up. I'm an electrician reading. If I remove the restraint, would it help you concentrate better? This nigga is an idiot, bro. <laughs> Don't you think there's a reason why it's there? Do you think a truly good act at the end of your life can make up for the terrible things you've done? I would like to believe that is true. Yeah. What are you planning to do? Are you planning to do something good? Hopefully. Uh, she can also kill everybody in this room without dying. What the fuck are you doing down here? Put down your weapons. 
Turn your weapons. <laughs> Could somebody explain to Bobby what's going on, please? Alex, listen to me. If you make us come in there, somebody's gonna get hurt. Okay. Don't you fucking do it. <laughs> At least you could buy buy yourself some time by telling. Just want to talk. This is a stall. What is it with you and these assholes? I don't care that she's. I don't want anybody to get hurt here. She tries to stop us. I'm putting her down. I bet you those two other Martians that's there with her is going to cause trouble. Jeez. Are they coming to? I don't want to hurt you. Don't make me. Actually, I'm here to keep Amos from hurting you. The broadcast is causing a panic. It has to stop. Yeah, it's not gonna happen, Gunny. That station is gonna wipe us all out. Unless we make this happen now. I was with him in that thing. It did something to him. He's running around, putting his life on the line, trying to save everyone. That's the whole nine of Take him out! Oh, stand down! God damn it, stand down! I knew they was gonna do something stupid, man. Amos, don't shoot anybody. Don't shoot anybody. Just let it play out. Let it play. Gunny, Bobby, man, you better put this girl in a chokehold real quick. Bobby, come on. Come on, Bobby. <laughs> Damn, she got shot. Bobby got shot. Dang, headshot. Alex, I'm good. They were gonna kill him. I think. How many more? I think Bobby got shot. Claire. Look like she got shot, man. Didn't she? This is a problem, though. Put the guns down here. She got shot. Can you check on her, please? Benny, you okay? No, she's not. They'll be sending a lot more people, so whatever you gotta do, do it fast. Come on, James. Don't stop, we'll catch up. They're in mech suits. There's no way we stay ahead of those suits. You keep going. I can handle Diogo Hagar. You can't. You need the grenades. I'm sorry I tried to kill you. There's no need. Tell Naomi I said that. I will. Oh my god. There's so many characters I don't want to lose, man. This drama is such a good character. She's trying to sacrifice herself here. If Ashford's right, it won't make any difference if we shut down the prince. But if he's wrong, shouldn't we at least try? I'm just saying. At the very least, we should try because it's the less hostile solution, right? Oh! Lucky! Get up, drummer! Come on, let's go! Drummer! Please tell me I didn't hit you too. Now I know why you don't need to carry a gun. Oh, that's a pretty good trick. Are you okay? Is that the end of Ferrari? Please let it be. He's such an annoying character, dude. Just like a cockroach that will just go away. They're leaving? Where's my goddamn laser? Almost there. Just gotta check the buffer. Buffer is good. Laser control to me. Lock target. Yeah, boss man. Firing. Missed. What happened? We you missed. missed. <laughs> Compensating. Still powering up. We need to fire again. Now. Y'all better not kill Bobby. That's all I'm trying to say. Just don't kill my baby. That's all I'm asking y'all to do. Do we have a target lock on the ring yet? Almost there. How y'all gonna get up there, man? He's gonna have to rush in there. We're unarmed. Don't shoot. We're coming out. Gonna kill unarmed men, pirate. 
they're over here powering up, bruh. God, everybody else is shutting down. It's just gonna be them. I know you're trying to save lives. I am too. We're on the brink right now because we keep reacting to things we don't understand. We're hurt and we're reaching for violence because we can't figure out what to do. Can't we try something else? Ashford, you know me. I stopped following Fanax a long time ago. Shoot them. Shoot them. Oh! Come on! I don't know why I'm cheering for you, but you seem like you're doing the right thing. Just shut it down. What the hell? And then he just gets transported? That's a beautiful sight. Okay. All they needed to do was shut down for like five seconds. It's probably more than that, but... In the end, she sacrificed herself to save James. That's insane. It's letting them out. It's letting them out. It's opening up... Um, that's what I'm seeing. It seems like it's opening up holes to let them out. What does this mean, though? Um, it's a lot of holes. You haven't been straight with me, Miller. There's something you're not telling me. Oh, really? After all the pain and death, you just flip a switch and we're free to go. Nice try. There's something more I to think it, you though. I trying to open the ring gates from the beginning. And what I want to know now is, are we, I mean humanity, safe? Are we part of that plan? I don't know. I don't believe you did it out of the goodness of your heart. We got like four more seasons to go. It was never about helping. All right, W. Carissa. So you got to answer for a lot, though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You know, all but I'm always I'm a sucker for redemption all stories, right. so we'll see where she goes from here. You just magically disappear the moment you set us free. You need to stay on the damn Rosinante. I love you. <laughs> Stay on the Rasinante, please. Given us a new frontier. Bubby. 1300 habitable systems on the other side. Okay, we got Christians probably could come go. back for season 4. The Star Trek <laughs> habitable systems on the other side of those rings. Mm. We're going to go. We won't be able to resist. It's going to be another blood-soaked gold rush. That's true. God damn right I'm scared. And I think you know why. You connected me to the station. I saw something. The civilization that built the rings is gone. Wiped out. What could have killed them? And that's what I'd like to know. Can that's what I'd like to know too. <laughs> You're gonna need a ride. <laughs> What the hell? Bro, I gotta check out Frankie, man. She is fine. <laughs> God, this has been great, bro. This has been absolutely awesome. Oh my God. The Expanse, bro. Season three is over. And like you can see the smile on my face because when i'm actually enjoying the show like there's this uncontrollable urge to just binge watch it and also just my smile is just it's just up there because i know i'm actually just taken away from all the stress of life <laughs> you know what i mean and just to sit here and just watch tv shows and comment on it um even though you know, talking about this in the context of, you know, just sitting down and watching TV shows, right? And also looking at the fact that I upload videos all the time on my YouTube channel and they don't do well. They don't do as well as I expect, but I continue. I've been doing YouTube now for going on six years, right? And 
I have to say, man, I have to say, like, if it wasn't the fact that you guys suggest really good TV shows for me to watch and I enjoy them, I probably still, I, I probably would have put YouTube aside a long time ago. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding. Because as I said, if you look at the, the history of the stuff that I went through on YouTube overall, I think if I still had my original channel, things would be better. But that's just not the case, right? That's, it's just not the case. So overall, um, having to kind of start over with TV shows and then when I upload a TV show and they don't really do well or whatever, I don't know how Expanse is going to do once it comes to YouTube, right? I don't know. I can't sit here and tell you that I do know because I really don't. I don't know how it's going to do. Um... I'm hoping that it does well because it seems like it's a fairly popular show, but probably people just don't like my type of reactions. Maybe that's the case, regardless of what it is. I continue to do this because I really do enjoy doing it, right? And just to watch something like this that I can take my mind off of my everyday task, you know what I'm saying? From doing the stressful things of life right it's just one of those things i just enjoy sitting down here watching this and commenting and, and giving you guys my perspective and when i watch an episode like this where i see characters that i have literally like fallen in love with the show and it's characters i don't want to see anybody die because it's like what anna said it's like you know what i'm saying these people over here thinking they're doing the right thing these people over here doing they're doing the right thing. There's no outright villain in this story. Now, it's kind of like an Attack on Titan-esque kind of feeling uh, for final season where there's no, there's no clear villain, right? There's no clear villain. You might be rooting against a, a particular side, but at the same time, there's no outright villain. It's just like the Martians think they're right. Earth thinks they're right. The Belters think they're right. And... Deciding to make a decision like what, um, what's his name? What did he decided to do? The pirate, right? Pirate captain. Like, he's not wrong for thinking what he thought, because he thought he was going to destroy them, because from what James said, it's like they just burned through solar systems and they don't really care. It's like he just took that personally and decided, you know what, we're going to self-sacrifice all of us and whoever are here. And whatever happens after that happens, I'm trying to save humanity. And it's like, if you have another option, why not try it in the less, <laughs> right? It's just like one of the things is just like, okay, if the situation is bleak, then it's bleak. So we're just going to accept that it's bleak and we're just going to, we're just going to, just do a kamikaze attack and just get it done there's also on the other hand of things it's just like what if we shut down all the reactors and we and they still attack us right there's still that to consider right what if they still attack us we're all dead and then they go on to take over the rest of you know the solar system this is getting really interesting and I mean, we have these this alien, whatever, the proto-molecule that is saying, we're not your enemy. Like, we're not trying to fight here. It seems like they're out here trying to survive as well. And I think we're going to learn more about that in Season 4. So, this has been so good, man. Season 3 was one of those seasons that it's the definitive season for the series right now. It's like, you didn't have a direction, now you do. Now you have a clear direction of where this series is going and what it could be about, right? You can speculate um, on a lot of things now and you can theorize on a lot of things of what's really happening. It might not even be what you're thinking, right? And, you know, it might not even be about that. It could be just another life form trying to reach out that, you know, introducing this fourth faction is just like, everybody is trying to have peace. And they're coming in, trying to look for peace. And the first thing y'all did was attack them, right? Which is, you know, y'all thought this was cool, but it's really not, <laughs> right? So, at the end of the day, and this episode was not necessarily even action-packed. It was more of like, 
we're trying to get shut off all the reactors you're trying to fire this laser to destroy the ring which probably wouldn't have in my opinion they would have just seen that as, as a threat and destroyed all of y'all and then and then now what we're all dead and now they're gonna be like well okay humans want to play let's play <laughs> you know um so it's a hard thing to trust James, but I'm glad that he has people that trust him. He's like, yo, you seeing Miller? I don't know how I feel about that, but because we're friends, because we're family, because we're crewmates, because we're these things that are close, we're close, and you've never led me astray, I'm going to believe in you. I'm going to trust you. I mess with that heavy right i mess with that heavy man when you have people in your lives and these people are few and far in between you know what i'm saying that you can really trust somebody like that we have somebody like that in your life that you can trust like that and i i try my best to be that kind of friend to people where they know they can count on me for anything you get what I'm saying? For for anything. If we're close. If we live close to each other or whatever. And I try to, to kind of be that kind of friend if I have a best friend. Like, I mean, if I'm, if I'm in Florida and you live in Canada, if you call for my immediate help, it's not, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not going to happen. But at least I trust you enough that if we are, if I say something to you or if i pour my heart out to you in any way that it stays between us you're not going to break that trust if you can have a friend that can do that i mean on any scale you know what i mean you found a very good friend so when i see that happening it chokes me up a little bit because trust me man when you have that kind of people around you or as a friend and they're very few it's not a lot there's i don't think anybody in the world has 10 friends that are like this this is insane if you do congratulations you hit the jackpot but many people one or two one or two and most likely just one <laughs> you know what i mean because these friends are not easy they're not easy to find and some of the times it could you could be that you grew up together your childhood friends could be that it's a sibling it could be you get what i'm trying to say like it could just be somebody that just just rock with you like that somebody that you randomly meet right and you just rock with each other heavy like that so when i see that you know naomi coming back you know what i mean i want i'm advocating from here on forward please let bobby be on the rossinante please i know that's not their name anymore but please let her be on the rossi man I want to see her more often. Um, I don't know which dude watching this show and no fuck with Bobby Heavy. Like, not only is she beautiful, she's a badass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She's a badass, man. And I miss, I really do miss Chris Jen this season because she was one of my favorite characters and she completely disappeared for season three. Um, all we saw of her was some messages she, she did over communications and stuff like that, just addressing whoever um out there that's all we saw we never saw her physically in person at all so hopefully she's back for season four they showed her at the end there sitting looking at all the, the holes that were opening up i think that's the first time we actually saw her physically sitting in the chair so for the season um so a bit of an exaggeration i said it didn't show at all but really and truly that was the first time we saw her of any time throughout the season was at the end there so interesting that james is saying that this is going to be you know another goal rush for them to go go to these other 13 places that's been opened up and you know are they going to be interfering with anything that's going on you know i think we're gonna get a uh, quite a better understanding of everything once we get into um more seasons and stuff like that of what's going to happen you know i'm hoping that at the very least the belters martians and earth and you know people from earth i don't know earthers what, what do they call earthians 
<laughs> whatever. Um, you know, I'm hoping that they understand now that we need peace. We don't need to be fighting against each other, man. We need to get off our high horse and just be like, yo, the Martians need to know what it's like to breathe oxygen. Let them be able to come to Earth freely, man. You know what I'm saying? Why are they fighting in the first place? They're all humans, right? Ah, oh, man, this is crazy. It's crazy, but it is what it is. Um, I love it. Can't say, you know, enough about this show. I'm enjoying it so much. But in any case, guys, or maybe I'm just watching it for Bobby. Who knows? You know what I mean? I, you know, we all have our preferences, <laughs> right? But in, any, but in any case, I'm enjoying the story overall um, for The Expanse, man. This it's one of my favorite things to watch right now. Right now I'm watching The 100 and The Expanse. Both are the favorite things for me to watch. You know what I'm saying? Over even The Crown. Because I'm watching The Crown too. And The Crown is brilliant. But it, but The Crown is more... Oh my god. I don't even know what how to talk about The Crown. The Crown in description... It's like... It's nothing about it. Like It's not exciting. It's just a masterpiece in... In, in just acting and overall cinematography and it's just one of those shows um, it dives into themes as well you know but it, it's like you're watching a bio, biographical pick so it's like it's not super exciting to watch but I'm still excited to watch it it's 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 weird it's a weird situation but um, there's no there you're not looking at like foreshadowing and all these other different things I mean, it's a time piece at time a, a look at time in history of the life of Queen Elizabeth. So I'm just looking forward um, To watching that as well, but I right now I'm really enjoying watching the 100 and the expanse two really good shows so pretty sure by the time you've seen this episode of the expanse on YouTube the 100 should have been on YouTube as well. So we'll see how that works out. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all, man. I will see you guys for season four. I'm out. Peace.